Hi, today is the blog for Friday the 2nd of October. We're looking at John 19 verses 16 to 37. It's a difficult part of John's Gospel. John is now clarifying the total brokenness of Jesus and his death. And we need to put this in the context of the whole Gospel. The whole Gospel is saying that through Jesus' brokenness, through his death, his sacrifice, there is going to be restoration for us. Jesus is taking our brokenness into himself. There's very little of restoration in today's passage because John is telling us about Jesus' death. It's really sad. I'm going to read it in a moment. Uh, you're going to see that Jesus is insulted. He's mocked. Even the inscription over his head is debated by religious people looking at him as though this is a spectacle of debate. His clothes are bartered. His clothes, by the way, are the one thing about Jesus that are not torn. They are bartered by Roman soldiers who are not paid well. They'd rather have his undergarments. And then he dies. And when he's dead, a spear is plunged into his side, just to guarantee that he really is dead. I need to say to you, as you hear these difficult words, that John says earlier in his Gospel that unless a grain of wheat dies and falls into the ground, it abides alone. But if it dies, it will bear much fruit. OK, let's listen to these difficult words. So they took Jesus and carrying the cross by himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull. In Hebrew, this is called Golgotha. There they crucified him with two others, one on either side, with Jesus between them. Pilate had an inscription written and put on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read this inscription because the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city and it was written in Hebrew, Latin and Greek. Then the chief priests of the Jews said to Pilate, don't write King of the Jews, but this man said I'm King of the Jews. Pilate answered, what I've written, I have written. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his clothes and divided them into four parts, one for each soldier. They also took his tunic. Now the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from the top. So they said to one another, let's not tear it, but cast lots to see who will get it. Then Jesus bowed his head and gave up his spirit. It was the day of preparation and the Jews didn't want the bodies left on the cross during the Sabbath, especially because the Sabbath was a day of great solemnity. So they asked Pilate to have the legs of the crucified men broken and the bodies removed. Then the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other who had been crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus, they saw he was already dead. They did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear. And at once blood and water came out. He who saw this has testified so that you also may believe. His testimony is true. He knows that he tells the truth. These things occurred so that the scriptures might be fulfilled. None of his bones will be broken. And again another passage of scripture says they will look on the one whom they have pierced. Tomorrow, as Baz opens this up a little bit more, I think he's likely to look at verses 25 to 30, which I didn't read from that section, because it shows a beautiful section of Jesus looking down from the cross and saying to John, the writer of this gospel, please look after my mum. Jesus is always healing.